Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. February 19th, Lenten Reflection number 5. Our text today is Luke chapter 4, verses 14 through 21. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the beautiful day that you have created for us to live and move through. Use us today in powerful ways to be an encouragement to someone, to serve others. Thank you for your love, your compassion, your patience, um, your grace. Oh, Lord, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, our reflection for today is based on Jesus' first public message, or in today's language, today's vernacular, Jesus' first sermon. Well, prior to today's reflection, John the Baptist had just baptized Jesus. After Jesus was baptized, he was led into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit where he was tempted for 40 days by the devil. He fasted also during those 40 days. So he didn't eat or drink for 40 days in the wilderness tempted by the devil. This brings us up to Jesus' first message, his first sermon, Luke 4, 14 through 21. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news about him spread throughout the whole countryside. He was teaching in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, his hometown. And on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him, Unrolling it, Jesus found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom to the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began by saying to them, Today the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. In the Gospel of Mark, the Holy Spirit through Mark put Jesus' first message for us, his first sermon for us, in a nutshell. This is what the Holy Spirit through Mark says. Mark 1, 14b and 15. Jesus went into Galilee, Nazareth, proclaiming the good news of God. This was his message. The time has come. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. Well, you know, up to this point in history, the entire world, both animal, both mankind, the entire world, whether it is realized or not, the whole world was waiting for that moment. Yes, they were waiting for the Messiah to be born. Eventually, they turned their back on him, not believing that he was the Messiah. But mankind and all of creation was waiting for that moment, that proclamation, that come near, the time has come, repent and believe the good news. They were waiting. People still wait today for the good news of God, the kingdom of God, salvation. Of course, it wouldn't be possible without Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. You've got to remember that. The whole weight, uh, the whole burden of sin had been pushing down and holding down the entire world. It, it, the burden of sin... Uh, keeping the world in spiritual darkness. This is until at that sacred moment when Jesus proclaimed, the time has come. The kingdom of God is near. Well, as we reflect on Jesus' message, thinking about those particularly in the crowd who heard it proclaimed, what was the response that Jesus what was the response that Jesus was looking for 
Repent and believe. Repent and believe the good news. Not just any news, but the good news. If we were to study the Luke chapter 4 passage further, we would quickly realize that the crowd's response was quite the contrary. After Jesus spoke those words, after he presented his first message, his first sermon, all the people in the synagogue, they became angry, they became furious, they got up. They attempted to grab Jesus. They drove him out of town, out of his own hometown. They drove him out, took him to the brow of a hill, and, and were, were going to attempt to throw him over the cliff. What did Jesus do? He walked right through the crowd, went on his way, and continued proclaiming the good news. As we look back at our passage, what was the good news? Well, the kingdom of God is near, repent and believe, but here is the good news. Luke 4, beginning in 18, The Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. The good news was many things. But I want us to simply close our reflection with this. Jesus said this about himself in John 8, 12. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have seen the light of life. In Matthew 5, 14 through 16, Jesus said this about his disciples, which we are one of. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do you light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, people put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Well, as we prepare, continue preparing our hearts and minds for Easter, let's not forget that many people around us uh, they're not going to be celebrating Easter for the same reason we will celebrate it. They do not know Jesus. They don't know Him. They don't know the one who is the light of the world. Let's also not forget that because of Jesus, the Holy Spirit in us, we are also to be light to the world. This Lenten season, let's let our light shine. Let our light shine before others through what we do, what we say, how we react, how we act, our words. Let's let our light shine. This Lenten, this Lenten season, let's point others to the source of light, the source of light, Jesus Christ. And in doing so, as we read in today's, one of today's passages, we glorify God. And you know, if you know me, I have to do it. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let your light shine today. Throughout this Lenten season, let that be another challenge. Let it shine. Let's pray. Father, thank you for today's reflection. How often we forget that we are the light of the world because of the source within us, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. We are nothing apart from Him. The only light we shine is either selfish light, sinful light, or glorifying light that points others to Jesus, Lord. Use us this Lenten season to do good to others. Let our light shine. Thank you for using us in advance. Thank you for the ways that you're going to use us this week, throughout this Lenten season even. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, have a great rest of your day, and stay tuned for the next day, day six. That will be tomorrow. Love you.